Alright, what's up? You got Dana here, and I know I haven't been posting in a long while. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, that's my fault. <laughs> I'm going to make sure to try and post uh, more often, because this once a month shit ain't cute. But anyway, I came in here to talk about this music video that I caught on World Star yesterday. And um, it's from a guy called like Young Fly Red or some shit like that. And the name of the song is Throw That Boy Pussy. Now, before you even decide to click off this shit and be like, oh, nah, I ain't got time for this gay shit, I want to say this. I don't knock anybody's hustle, okay? Like, everybody's out here trying to win. Everybody's out here trying to, like, get their buzz up, find some sort of way to get popping. I get that. I get that. Trust me. I get that. You know, as somebody who is a part of the whole self-promotion wave or whatever, like, I get it. But at the same time, there has to be, with you promoting and with you putting some hype out there, there has to be something to it with some substance. So, I click on the video and straight out the gate, it's this, it's this guy, you know what I'm saying? And basically the subject matter of the song is, he's talking about fucking niggas and I'm not homophobic, okay? I have gay friends, I don't have an issue with gay people, so like let's... We're not going to make this a gay or straight thing. We're not going to make this a religious thing. It's not, that's not what I'm here to talk about. This is a hip hop channel. Okay. So we're going to talk about the implications that this song, this particular movement has in hip hop. So me personally, I feel like, Hey, on a promotional level, you're doing your thing. He kind of reminds me of this girl, uh, a couple months back who blew up on Twitter because she bleached herself white. Okay. So this, that, it, that, this song falls in that same category. So like I said, I don't have an issue with the fact that this is a gay man talking about, you know, butt sex. Not at all. Do you, boo? If uh, sticking it up the poop shoop is your deal, two thumbs up from Dana personally. But um, he's trash lyrically. Like, this song is trash. He had no bars, no punches. The stuff that I was hearing, for me personally, it's just like, if, if this is going to be your MO, if this is going to be your lane, you got to be dope. Like, it's just like Eminem coming in. As a white rapper, he had to be somebody who broke the mold because everybody prior to him and not saying he was the first nice white rapper because there were nice rappers prior nice white rappers prior to Eminem however if he was going to carve a lane where his color no longer mattered he had to be dope and we have this gay guy now coming out as an openly gay rapper and your debut single about ass sex with dudes is trash like the only redeeming quality of this song was the fact that the beat was like standard fare in today's music, in today's hip hop music. So to Young Fly Red, I say like if you want a lasting career and you just don't want to be a a, a, tr a Twitter trending topic or somebody who's popular on World Star, I suggest you go back to the drawing board, you know what I'm saying, listen to some classic hip hop albums and definitely get your bars together because that song, if if that's any indication of your talent level, you have none. And that's just real. That's just coming from somebody who you know, doesn't have an issue with you and your lifestyle choices because at the end of the day, you're a grown ass man. What you do behind closed doors doesn't bother anybody. It's not the subject matter of the song that bugged me. It's just the fact that you, you're pretty much appropriating your own culture in order to get on. And on one end, it's like, it's cool for you to do because you're an openly gay man, but at the same time, you're making you're a caricature of what people already feel about your culture. And I feel like for you to get some dollars, you're actually bringing your people a couple of steps back. And I, I equate that to a black rapper coming out and performing in blackface as a minstrel. And I know there are going to be people in the comment section who say, oh, there are people that make a mockery in hip hop every day. But that's, like I said, these people don't last long in the grand scheme of things you know what i'm saying like being a caricature being a parody being an intentional joke you will not last long okay and as for the people that these kids admire this drug culture and everything that's another conversation for another video but um if you haven't seen the video and you don't have any gay hang-ups it's over on world star and uh 
Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below about it. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.